Hello everybody today we are completing the rest of unit 10 the grammar session the grammar today is about the future tenses the future tenses we have many ways to express the future tenses we have many ways to express the future let's talk about them number one will or want plus infinitive well plus infinitive when do we use well what are the uses of well we use it in many ways the first one in quick decisions quick decisions we use well to predict the future or make a quick decisions and promises like I do things when I do things without things this is the quick decisions I do things without thinking I take the step quickly examples it's hot I will open the window it's hot I will open the window number two prediction with no evidence so when I have no evidence to speak about the action like Egypt will win the match Egypt will win the match I am not sure 100 percent Egypt will win the match number three promises and threats when I promise you and also when I threat you like uh, if you get high marks I will get you a present if you get high marks I will you a present this is a promise number two if you don't do your homework if you don't do your homework I will punish you this is a threat also it comes with the following words like think expect predict perhaps promise sure probably if I have one of these words in a sentence I must choose well plus infinitive let's have some examples I am sure I'm sure Ali will come to the party I think Alice will get the prize now we uh, go we are going to use going to plus infinitive M is R going to plus infinitive we use going to when we talk about plans intentions decisions and the predictions with evidence again we use M is R going to plus infinitive when we use when we talk about plans plans intentions intentions and decisions and the predictions with evidence let's have some examples I'm going to study engineering I'm going to study engineering this is my plan my brother is going to buy a villa he has intended to do that the car ran out of petrol the car ran out of petrol it's going to stop this is a prediction this is a prediction with evidence the car ran out of petrol so it's going to stop this is a prediction with evidence okay now we come to the present sample present sample is used in timetables timetables we use it in timetables what is meant by timetables timetables of planes trains buses schools factories companies and so on for example the train leaves at 7 tomorrow the train leaves at 7 tomorrow I can't I can't say that the train is going to leave this is wrong I can say the train leaves at 7 tomorrow okay when does the plane take off when does the plane take off it's wrong when I say that when is the plane going to take off this is wrong because here I'm talking about timetables this factory opens at 10 this factory is opens at 10 tomorrow okay 
The last one, we come to the present continuous, which is M is R plus verb plus ING. We use it when we have arrangements. Arrangements for some certain events like wedding, parties, flying, traveling, etc. For example, I am visiting my friend tomorrow. I am visiting my friend tomorrow. I have arranged that. I am getting married next week. I am getting married next week. I have arranged everything for this marriage. So we use the present continuous when we talk about arrangements in the future. These are the four examples or the four forms of present uh, of future tenses. Now come to the, uh, this exercise. Number one, the school day, the school day at 7 a.m. is starting, will start, is going to start. The answer is it starts because this is a timetable. Number two, it's getting cloudy. This is an evidence. Evidence. It's going to rain. It's going to rain. Why? Because it's cloudy. Number three, the library. The library at four o'clock. Please hurry. The library closes because this is a timetable. Closes. The library closes at four o'clock. Please hurry. Number four. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. I think I will have a sandwich. This is a quick decision. When I feel hungry, I have a sandwich. Number five. I expect it will be, because we have expect, it will be hot tomorrow. Number six. We, our dinner at the restaurant, we have booked the tables. We have booked the tables. So this is arrangements. So the answer is we are having number seven i must go now i promised him i will be late or i won't uh, i must go now i promised him i will i will be late I, sorry i won't be late i must go now i promised him i won't be late according to the meaning of the sentence number eight the bus to Aswan, this is a timetable, leaves. The bus to Aswan leaves at 10 past 6 this evening. Number 9, I think it will be hot in Aswan. Why? Why did I choose well? Because I think. Think comes with will plus infinitive. Number 10, look out. Look out, you are going to crash. Look out. You are going to crash. Things about to happen, we use going to. We use going to when we talk about things about uh, things which are, which are going to happen. Number 11. He, Fayum, tomorrow, he has bought the ticket. When we saw that he has bought the ticket, so he is arranged. He, is ar he has arranged for everything, so he is visiting. He is visiting Fayum tomorrow. Number 12. I intend to study French. I intend intend to study French. I'm going. I'm studying French. I'm going to study. The, the answer is I intend to study French. So I am going to study French because I intend. Number 13. We, the sleeper train to Aswan tonight. We, we. That sleep or the train to a swan tonight, we are taking the sleep or the train because this is arrangement. The last one, number 14, the train, when I see the train, so I can choose leaves. The train leaves at uh, 7 uh, o'clock. Now come with me to lesson 3, 4, and 5, the vocabulary. Number one, platform. Platform, businessman, passenger, price, huge, express train, express train, sleeping train, uh, distance, crowded, 
rail cards, breeze, final, sports center, explain, ferry, coach, condensation, mind, station, transport, exactly. Thank you for listening. See you soon. Goodbye.